using a standard screwdriver and tightening locking devices. Objectives Handle a screwdriver and use it. Use different types of locking devices correctly using a screwdriver. Select the correct size screwdriver to suit the screw slot. Select the longest suitable screwdriver with that size of tip. Hold the screwdriver with its axis in line with the axis of the screw. Guide the blade with the left hand. Apply a little pressure with the right hand to keep the tip in the slot. Twist firmly and steadily. Keep the tip centered in the slot and the axis of the blade in line with the axis of the screw. To turn large screws, use a screwdriver with a square blade. Apply extra twisting force with the aid of a close-fitting spanner. Never use pliers or toothed wrenches to apply twisting force to a screwdriver. A standard screwdriver blade should be ground to 9 degrees so that the faces will be almost parallel with the sides of the screw slot. The end of the blade should be made as thick as the slot in the screw will permit. Do not grind the blade to a chisel point as it has a tendency to slip out of the screw slot. Tightening locking devices. Job sequence. Split pin. Tighten the nut at the specified torque. Check the bolt's holes and nut's slot alignment if not aligned. Sling the hole by tightening the nut slightly. Insert a new suitable split pin in the slot and hole. Drive the split pin fully inside. Spread open the slide of the split pins and bend it on the nut. Inside circlip or snap ring. Hold an internal circlip with the help of an internal circlip plier. Press the circlip with the help of the plier so that the diameter will be smaller than the whole diameter. In this position, insert the circlip in such a manner that it will sit squarely in the groove. Take out the plier. Outside circlip or snap ring. Hold an outside circlip with the help of an external circlip plier. Press the external circlip plier so that the circlip will enlarge in diameter. In the enlarged position of circlip, slide it on the shaft. While sliding, set it in the shaft groove. Ensure that the circlip sits squarely in the groove. Take out the plier. Wire ring hose clamp. Clean the outside surface where the hose pipe is to be set. Apply grease inside the starting end surface for easy insertion. Set the wire spring hose clamp on the hose pipe. Slide the hose pipe on the metal pipe. Press the hose clamp with the help of a plier and slide it on the joint of the hose pipe and metal pipe. Take out the plier. Working principle of four-stroke petrol and diesel engine. Objectives. Understand how a four-stroke petrol and diesel engine works. Know how an engine can be called four or two-stroke engine. Operating principles of engines. Gas expansion. When a gas is heated, it tries to expand. If this expansion is resisted, then a high pressure is built up which in turn creates a large force. A mixture of petrol and air compressed in a container or a cylinder makes an explosive gas. When the gas is ignited, the pressure moves the piston towards the open end of the cylinder. Linking the piston by a connecting rod to a cranked shaft causes the gas to rotate the shaft through half a turn. The power stroke uses up the gas, so means must be provided to expel the burned gas and recharge the cylinder with fresh petrol air mixture. The valves control the movement of gas. An inlet valve allows the new mixture to enter at the right time. An exhaust valve lets out the burned gas. A flywheel and its need. A flywheel is needed to drive the crankshaft during the time that the engine is performing the non-power strokes. The flywheel carries the engine over the non-working strokes. Multi-cylinder engines. A smoother flow of power from the crankshaft is obtained when more than one cylinder is used. The extra power impulses are spaced out evenly throughout the two revolutions of the four-stroke cycle. The flywheel of a multi-cylinder engine is lighter in weight. Inline engines. The cylinders are placed in a single row. Twin cylinders. Twin cylinders are used in motorcycles and some small cars. One power stroke of every 360 degrees of crankshaft movement. Four cylinders are commonly used in cars to give good balance to the crankshaft. Differences between petrol and diesel engines. Objectives. Know the differences between a petrol engine and a diesel engine. Compression ignition engines. CI engines. This engine is commonly called a diesel engine. It gets this name from the pioneer work done by Dr. Rudolf Diesel. The diesel is used for the majority of heavy vehicles and an excellent fuel economy 
makes it an attractive alternative to the petrol engine for light commercial vehicles, delivery vans and taxis. Most of these vehicles use a four-stroke engine but two-stroke operations is favored by a number of heavy vehicle operators. Compared to the petrol engine, the CI engine is different in the following ways. Induction. During the induction stroke, only air is supplied and a full unthrottled charge is induced. Compression. The air is more compressed. The typical compression ratio of a petrol engine is 9 ish to 1. The ratio of a CI engine is about 16 ish to 1. This high compression results in the air being very hot at the end of the compression stroke. Fuel supply. The fuel is special gas oil called DERV, diesel engine road vehicle. It is pumped in very high pressure into the cylinder when the piston nearing the end of the compression stroke. Power output is controlled by regulating the quantity of fuel injected. Ignition No electrical spark is necessary since the high temperature of the air in the cylinder is sufficient to fire the fuel oil as it is injected. Engine construction High cylinder pressure demands a more robust engine construction. A governor is fitted to limit the engine speed to a safe figure. 4 stroke CI operating cycle Spread over 2 crankshaft revolutions or 720 degrees, the four strokes are induction, compression, power, exhaust, valve operation and timing is similar to the petrol engine. Two-stroke CI operating cycle. This operating cycle has a power stroke every revolution. The cycle completes in one crankshaft revolution or 360 degrees. Four-stroke engine on CI principle overcomes one of the main disadvantages of a two-stroke petrol engine. The loss of fuel when the transfer and exhaust ports are open at the same time.